guys and welcome back to my channel so for today's look i'm gonna be doing my every day well not every day but my go-to glam look um i really like doing this when i'm in a hurry and i don't have time to like experiment with makeup or try something new i know this will look good every single time so that's why i go to it and for this look i usually use this palette the master palette by mario by anastasia um I love this palette and I know it's sold out and I know you can't get it anymore because it was limited edition but I'm gonna put dupes in the description below so you can get the exact or really close shade of um, the ones that I'm gonna be using in this video and if you have this palette at home then you're in luck because I use this whole palette on my eyes today so yeah I hope you guys enjoy this video please subscribe like comment and um, let me know what you guys thought and I'll see you guys next time bye Okay guys, so to start off, I'm going to be priming the lids with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I'm just using the shade Light Medium, and I'm just blending that out with the Real Techniques brush. I think this one came in a set, but yeah, I'm just blending that out. And then I'm going to set the concealer with some translucent powder and put that all, all over my lid too. And then once I have all that, we're going to go in with the Mario palette in the shade Isabel. This is an orangey color. I really like it. It's perfect for the transition shade. Um, I'm just going to put this all over my crease in windshield wiper motions back and forth. And um, I'm going to put some on the outer corner of my lid as well because um, I'm going to bring in some browns and I want there to be that transition shade in the background. So I'm just going to be blending that in the crease and in the outer corner as well. And the brush I'm using is the Morphe R37. And then I'm taking the Sigma E40 brush and I'm just going to be further blending that. And then I'm going to go back with that Morphe brush to add more color. And then I'm going to go back with the Sigma again to blend it even further. Make sure there's no harsh lines or anything. And then I'm going in with this shade called Violetta. And I'm going to put this in the outer corner. I'm just going to pack that on with the Morphe 433 brush. And I'm going to put a little bit in the crease as well. But I'm putting it lower than I put the orangey shade. Because we don't want to cover that transition shade that we put in our crease. And then I'm just taking the Morphe R37 and I'm just blending out the edges with that orangey color again. And then I'm going to go back in with that other Morphe brush and I'm going to pack more of that brown in my crease and in the outer corner just to make sure I got that full color on there. And then I'm going to be taking the shade Kim in the palette and I'm going to be putting this on my lid. I sprayed my brush with um, a setting spray by Urban Decay but you can use Fix Plus by... Um, what is it by MAC? Um, the brush I'm using is by Je Japanesque, I think it's called. It came in a travel set brush. I love this for packing on color on the lid. And then after that, I'm just going to be doing my liner. And then once I got my wing liner done, I'm going to be putting on Ardell lashes in 250. I'm going to be doing it off camera because it was hard to do it on camera. And then I'm just taking the Hangover X primer by Too Faced, putting it on my face until it gets tacky. And then I'm just going to be applying foundation. I'm using the Fiona Styles Matte Foundation in number 5. I heard they don't sell this foundation anymore. The matte version, they only have the luminous now, but the luminous is just as good. And then I'm just applying that foundation with the All Over Real Techniques brush. It's similar to the Artiste brushes. I really like it. 
And then I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape Light Medium. I'm just using that to conceal. My camera turned off at this point so you guys didn't see me apply the rest of it. But then I'm just going to set my whole face with the, um, with the Laura Mercier powder. And then I'm just doing that with the Real Techniques brush in the Multitask brush. And then after I set my whole face, I'm going to be taking my beauty blender and I'm just going to pack some of that powder under my eyes just to make sure it really sets. Not baking, but just pouncing it in until it disappears. Just to make sure it doesn't crease or anything. And then I'm taking my Laura Geller highlighter in um, Gilded Honey. I love this highlighter. Honestly, it's my favorite if I had to choose one highlighter like for the rest of my life, I think it would be this one. And then I'm just taking the Hoola bronzer and I'm just going to bronze up my face. And the brush I'm using for the bronzer is the Large Angled Contour Brush, the F40 by Sigma. And then I'm taking the Too Faced Peach Blush and I'm just applying that with the same brush. And then after that, I'm just taking off the foundation that was on my lips and I'm just going to apply chapstick in the meantime while we do our liner on our eyes. The liner that I'm using for the eyes is by Urban Decay. It says waterline on it, so um, I use this one just because what I wanted to do was smoke out the under eye. And then to smoke it out, I'm going to be taking Violetta and I'm just going to be taking a pencil brush by Sigma. It's the E30 brush. And then I'm just going to be applying mascara on the eyes. Um, I'm just using the Urban Decay Perversion and then I'm taking that highlighter again and I'm just going to be highlighting the inner corners of my eye. And then after that, I'm going to be contouring a little bit. Not, not fully contouring my nose, but I do this a lot where I put that hula bronzer and I put it underneath to make my nose seem a little bit shorter and then I'm just gonna use the beauty blender to kind of just make it more natural and then I'm gonna be applying the Urban Decay lipstick and fuel and I just lined my lips also with the Kylie Jenner exposed lip liner and off camera I did my brows and that completes the look I hope you guys enjoy this video I'll see you guys next time